Here in California, a new exoskeleton called E-Legs could soon help paralyzed people walk again. Similar robotic devices are already used by the military, but this one has been designed for rehabilitation. Our focus right now with the product E-Legs is to take that device into rehab facilities around the country and allow people to retrain their gait and to allow them to get up and exercise their bodies in ways that they have not been able to do with traditional rehab facility equipment. The suit is a wearable robot with four motorized joints, an onboard computer, and batteries that allow it to work without a tether. As you can see, this is a fairly traditional backpack-style harness. Very little weight is transferred from the device through these harnesses. That weight, of course, carries through the machine itself. The control unit for this device is located on the back. Low profile allows it to be worn comfortably. We have our actuated hips, our actuated knees here and here. And of course, we have the sensors that come up into the machine. Unlike previous exoskeletons, this one is easy to put on without help from others. Sensors in the crutches and armbands detect what the wearer wants to do. Pushing down on the left crutch, for example, allows the person to step with their right foot. Walking in E-Legs took some rewiring and relearning, in a sense. But my body has the muscle memory, and I learned to walk really fast. It still requires supervision to be used safely, but the designers plan to improve the device before it hits the market. By mid-2011, it should be available in a select group of rehabilitation centers. Eventually, exoskeletons like this could expand the range of activities available to people with spinal cord injuries. They have those tools available to go skiing or even motorcycling. So why isn't there tools out there to help them to go and walk as well? You're not going to replace the wheelchair, but at least you should have the tool in your back.